Stupid bullshit shitty fucking anime. Welcome back to Sakura Wars 2019. New Sakura, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to call this yet. Well, it's time to look around the theater. For all of you fans out there who want to use that beginning murmur, you can actually superimpose that on literally any anime released in the past seven years. I think I'm going to make it a gag where I got to... I gotta bury my hate and anger before the episode starts proper. <laughs> the only anime you can't put that on is Steins Gate and Agretico. No, I, I, I got some favorites. I got some very scant few gilded favorites. But here's our first bromide! Ooh! Shinguji. The, the original Sakura Shinguji from Sakura Wars 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Cool. And 5 for the beginning. So these in-between segments is basically check out all the blue question, uh, blue ex exclamation marks, then do all the greens, and then move on with the story. Okay. I'm glad there's a bit of, like, goofing off you can do. So this is Kaoru, Sumire's personal assistant. No, she's not. She's just standing there. You know, there's one thing that's always bothered me about 3D anime games like this, and it's just the smallest nitpick, and it doesn't even matter. The characters, the characters never stop moving. Yeah, especially in this game. It's, it's as if they all have restless leg syndrome and they just need to be, like, swaying from side to side. Oh, this fucking game is a vaudeville act. They move around so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, they move so exaggeratingly. It's, it's very distracting sometimes. Okay, that right there where he, he did the ponder thing. Does that count as the different facial expressions changing? Not, not really. It means that he's thinking, not that, you know, we, we can't see what tone he's going to take with that, with that sentence. Like, is he going to angrily shout something? Is he going to, you know, be put down? Is he going to be a horn dog? Is he going to just smile and nod? Is he going to be neutral? We can't tell. We only have the words to go on, and they're not really helpful 100% of the time, as we'll find out later in this episode. So, learn all about the Grand Imperial Theater. Let's explore the theater for ourselves. That secretary's giving me vibes. I'm trying to remember which character she gives me vibes of. Hold on, I'm... It's... it's important. Adrian okay. Andrews, that's right! She looks more like the, uh... the female detective from R.E. Cutie Honey. That? It's mainly just in the personality that I'm seeing that. Well, it looks it's exactly a... like it, but... My Whatever, man. Take, it, t take it from me, always go for the Otsubones. Okay. The, the office ladies, always go for them. Something's in the middle of the garden. I believe it's a woman. Let's go talk to it. Hello, woman. Hi. You seem nice. So are we going to overdub these or not? Nah, screw it. If there are a lot, there are a lot of them. I mean, if they, they didn't think to do it, it's it's probably not worth it. Besides, I'm gonna have to like break character to talk about how crap this is. Well, there's a spirit crystal in the center of the of the review. Basically, it's you know divine spirit protection. Then we were fighting with demons and make sure that demons can't attack. Makes sense, right? Well, it's actually clever. Yeah. And Hatsuho here. Her being, of course, a uh, Shrine Maiden-looking gal is into keeping this thing clean and protected and all that so it can protect us. <laughs> okay, I like this girl. I know. She's got the most personality so far. I mean, we've only met two. And between Sakura and Hatsuho, well, that's uh, <laughs> pretty obvious, I mean. So what is that... 
kind of like fake backpack she's wearing right now. What is that? Um, I know it goes with the with the aesthetic, but I c could never figure out what that piece actually is. I I don't uh, I don't uh, practice Shintoism, so I couldn't tell you the exact. But it is just like a ceremonial piece, yes. Basically, yeah. Okay. So, oh, it's get... time to go say hi to Sakura, right? I need to go in the music room for a second. Oh. It's time to play Claire de Lune, the song that's overplayed as fuck in anime. Is there a bromide in here? There's a cello in here. Oh, I could play it. Yeah, you play cello. That's somewhere around here. Oh, I saw it! Yeah, I just saw it too. It's on the floor! It's gonna be around... Yeah, just next to the string bass. Have my past self catch up. He's gotta find it. It's right next cello. to the string he bass, knows, friend. He knows it's by a cello, but he didn't know which one. Uh, Encounter with the monkey. Okay. It's not over the. It's right there. Yeah, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Got, oh, you, oh, you, nope. You, that's the piano. You got, oh. You, you got it, buddy. Come on. That's, oh, that's come the music on. again. That's a double bass. There that's you the, go. Yeah. yeah, there's your bromide. Show me the waifu. It's Erica Fontaine. Oh, hell yeah. The anime rendition of Cats. <laughs> I believe that's uh, Sakura Wars 3. I'm going to have to check the character sheets to see who's let's get in a, what. Let's get a fact check in there. You know, maybe this is maybe this was a really good reboot because this game had Sakura Wars fans the world over saying, Just release a 1 through 4 compilation! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did it with Yakuza. We've got every game now out, unless there's a spin-off I haven't heard of. Oh, there's several spin-offs you haven't Damn heard it. of. Well, at least the main series got over here. Numbered sequels, yeah. I should say. Yeah, we got one through seven, but they're talking about, like, Ishin and Kenzan. Nah, really, that's, uh... that's probably too niche. No, nah, not really. People have been wanting them, too. Well, I... Sorry, niche was the wrong word. So here is the third girl we're meeting today. Claris. So, think back to Sakura Wars 5. Remember how, uh how Diana was before she joined the party. Yes. How she was kind of kind of cold, very, very, you know, uh, combative and just negative and contrarian about everything. Mm -hmm. Well, we made her into a whole character. Does this... Do these emotions change? Sorta? So... She is big on books, big on the world of literature, which I can get behind. You know, hey, I like books too. But she's so into it, you can even just... Just scream right in her ear and she can't even hear you. So, that's just rude right there. Damn. It's fucking rude is what it is. It's a good book. It's like she's stuck in her own hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the captain, and your captain's giving you an order. Like, what happens if there's, like, an attack on the theater? Oh, wait, hang on. I gotta finish this chapter. Oh, she came up for air. <laughs> Absolutely captivating cyclops appear on her brain. When did you get here? Did she just speak an alternate language in Japanese? Yeah, she's German too. Her real name is Clarissa. Ooh, German girl. She is she is the German. Excellent. So, how does she greet us? Well, hey, we suck! <laughs> you fucking downer. It's like, oh yeah, we don't have a budget, our shit's falling apart, and we're terrible as a, as a performing <laughs> troupe, so, uh, hey, you, you came into a shit show, uh, big ol' shit show, buddy. Hey, hey, Captain, so, I can't... So, you're all failures? Does that mean you're a failure, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. All right, oh, she oh, didn't oh. deny it. So, so you're not a fail? Is, is that how it is? Everyone else is a failure, but you're not? Oh, I mean, what oh, whatever, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. You know, there are so many, like, comparisons I can do for characters in these games. Like, just as we were making fun of this failure of a German-Japanese girl right here, I I'm, I'm just thinking she blew in from Trails of Cold Steel while getting rejected from Valkyria Chronicles. I know nothing about either of those series. I think they're both Sega, actually. Valkyria yeah. Chronicles is definitely Sega, but Trails definitely of Cold Steel Sega. might be NIS. Trails so, of who's Cold pretty? Steel. Yeah, okay, so get this. I say Hatsuho's got her B because I can't just abscond, and she immediately gets jealous. Look, look, look at that bitchin' face! My god! You... you have a tsundere on your hands, friend. Yeah, I got a bitch on my hands is what I got. <laughs> Passive-aggressive, manipulative little shit is what she is! So also, much like the previous games, we, we don't get the entire cast right away. Oh, really? So there's one more in the group who is Azami Mochizuki, but the other girl isn't even here yet. Oh. Okay. Special surprise for later. Well, it's also you don't get overwhelmed with girls in the first act. But I want to be drowning in waifus by now. It's episode two. Give me all the girls. Yeah, so far these girls have proven to be more of a liability than anything else. <laughs> oh, let's see. What was she reading? At the center of the path where flowers float to and from. Be just changed into it. Ah, it doesn't matter. Was this written by Monica? Good lord. So, yeah, looking around here, looking around, there's something here that's waiting for us. Mm, where is it? Is it, is it this, this corner? This is the true Doki Doki Literature Club experience right here. Aha! Hey! Another bromide? It's Gemini ah! Sunrise! Hey! That's my girl! Oh, I'm glad to see you here. If life gets tough, keep your chin up. That's the Texas way. Hell yeah. I don't live in Texas, but I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, until you get thrown into Shadow Tokyo and you're left there for ten years, but whatever. God damn it. Why you gotta bring me down like that? Hey, I'm not I'm not the one leaving bromides of dead girls <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> wow, she's cute. What's her phone number? Uh, D-E-A-D. -E Oops. So, again, we're gonna have another fucking scene with Sakura. Yes. Your room looks so... boring. It's filled with posters of previous Sakura Wars games. I, I was from, wondering... From, from are... shows. They all have Sakura Shinguji on them. Now, are there references all over the place to previous games? Are they doing that... that kind of signal blasting for the old games? It's really coming from her and the Bromides. That's okay. about it. Like, it, oh. it, it wants to reference the old games, but it wants to distance themselves as far away as possible at the same time. It's ridiculous. Ah, I didn't come in for anything. I just wanted to bother you. Hey, that's a neat sword. Can I use it? Yeah, okay. a little bit. Get Sega. out. I'm going to give you one good piece of props. That wasn't a sentence, but you get what I mean. Uh, the, he hit his sword with his arm, and it actually moved. It didn't just go straight through it. Oh, there's still more. What? We're going to be okay leading the flower division? Uh, uh, yeah, no. We'll, we'll be good. We'll, we'll be fine. We're capable. We got this. You know, it's all good. You don't need you don't need to worry about a thing when it comes to us. We're going to be a great captain. How this many Clarissa's room? How many endings does this game have? How many girls are there? I see. But you said they didn't matter. They really don't. 
but they kind of do. But they really don't. Well, that blows. See, I was wondering if there was, like, the... You know, the idiot player route where all the girls kick you out on the doorstep. Like, I think you literally have to choose a girl, and I don't think there's... I don't think there's really any way that they can... <laughs> no, well... Yeah. They love you forever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Thank you, Eeyore. Thanks for noticing. You know, I think our captain actually does have a bit of an Eeyore voice vibe going on him. <laughs> Let's check out the store here and get another bromide. Buy some bromides. They sell programs and bromides and fans and books and all that shit. All right. Ooh, they're 3D. Well, I guess it matches the style. Well, they have their, they're only rendered in 3D. Then they didn't draw any 2D pictures of them. Because it's supposed to blend 2D and 3D by making the 3D look like 2D. Get Whoa! it? Oh! The only game that did that successfully was Time and Eternity, my friend. <laughs> I think I taste metal in my mouth. I think I taste septic fluid. Uh. Come to my office. Come to my office. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so that's nice. Just so you know where to eventually go, the game gives you a, a little heads up saying, Oh, by the way, when, once you're done, go ahead and uh, come here. I like that. Love the dining hall, too. I mean, look at the shine of the windows on the floor. It's, yeah. It looks pristine and so clean. All right, let's finish up that uh, side quest with Kaoru. She, she still has a blue exclamation mark, so I guess that means that we have something to report in. So. We failed. What? What we happened? Failed, we failed her side quest. How? She wanted us to look her in the theater. Oh. She wanted us to look at every single piece of theater room with our eyes. What? Every single room. And for that... It, we lose points with her. That's it? That's it. Okay... Just try harder next time to look around everywhere, every single goddamn place, even though I gave you a map on your phone, but whatever. Is she even an option? Like, why do we have to gain points with her? See, we have... We have the relationship points with the, with the main girls, and we just have regular trust points with everybody else. Now that... I'll explain that later, but it doesn't matter as much as you think it does, like in the previous games. Yeah, because when you got points with side characters, it led to, like, you know, different CGs and stuff like that. Yeah. So we still haven't met Azami Mochizuki. Is she good? So, out of the three we've met so far, we've got... We've got a bitch, the good one, and a cold, you know, negative Nancy. Then we've got the weird... the, the weird child, and the one who's too good for you. Well, as long as we don't get the option to date, like, an 11-year-old, I think we'll be good. Nah, she's 13. As long as we do- <sighs> never mind. Mo 
So we're tearing ticket stubs now. That's our that's our job when we're wow. captain. From captain to ticket collector. Well, captain's what we do, you know, when we're fighting. But regular days, during times of peace, we're a ticket we're a ticket collector. Hey, Why are we even needed when she has job. when she has such control over this place? Yeah, such control. They have no money, then they suck, and everything's <laughs> falling apart. Okay. So look at that. that. That looks like an actual cell from an animated show. That looks great. Then, then they start moving the people, and then... Uh. Wait a minute, it's been a week? What it has been a week about? already. Yeah, oh my it's, god! A, it's already been a week. And it's the opening show for Momotaro. An amazing retelling of the classic Japanese fable. But we're not drawn in the crowds as much. That's a problem. Oh, please let them all be terrible actors. Please. Oh, God, that would be hilarious. And ask if you, you had to ask teach them... you shall receive. Oh, yes! And... Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this is what we gotta fix. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But hey, we all gotta start somewhere, right? I'm glad I got my wish, but that was a weird mixture of 3D and 2D. <sighs> so we're about to get into the nitty gritty as to why this new lips system really sucks. So they're obviously feeling bad because it's another failed show for another failed opening. They're feeling kind of crappy about it. I, as the captain, need to rile everybody up. Need to, you know, get their spirits back up. Come on, team. Come on, team. We can do it. You're going to make them hate you. They're exhausted. They're tired. <laughs> uh, oh, your performance? Uh, uh, let's okay. see. <laughs> I, okay, I, I don't want to be too mean. So, uh, it was <laughs> interesting. It was interesting. Let him off easy. Just kind of, yeah. It was interesting. Is there a grade lower than F? Uh, but I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> what Why would asshole? you say that? Why would you say that? I did not say that. You idiot. And now I, everyone loses points now. Wow! Was it really your utmost? Trap. My God! You you guys broke your ankles at the same time. It's almost like you were trying to be a, a pratfall act. Oh my God! I can't believe that. That is mean. I mean, not the character interactions. I mean, the selection. That was terrible. Should I've just told them? Yeah, y'all sucked. Or do I have to lie and say, oh, I wasn't watching? Like, like, what do you want from me? You might as well have just stuck your tongue out and flipped them both birds. So, okay, grand plan. Here we go. We're captain. We gotta think of a grand plan to bring this place back up to shape. Okay, so, uh, pace ourselves, shut down, professional help. Uh, professional help. You guys need professional help. That's what we do later. That fifth girl, that's the professional help that we get. So, you need to get, like, an acting coach or something like that. So that way you can, you know, connect and, you know, perform better. Yeah. Nope. They're gonna hate that. What do you mean we need a psychiatrist? We need an acting coach, some crew to handle the costumes and stage, and that, that'll fix everything right up. Yeah? Great? Got it. Cool. She likes it. Hatsuha's okay. got it. But how are we paying for it? Uh... Well, I'm, not, uh, I'm the captain, not the treasurer. And then I lose it again. What? 
And oh, then I lose more from Clara. So if we wanted such <laughs> unrealistic solutions, we ask a child, fuck you! <laughs> Dude, try and focus. Well, that's a better idea than just saying, oh, I'm so tired. No. What? Am I supposed to blow smoke up their ass and say, yeah, don't worry, guys. If we pace ourselves and try really hard, we can do really. No! You all suck. You need help. You need to learn. And it's gonna cost some fucking money, too, so we gotta figure out how to make some money. Come on now! So, is there an option to stay quiet? Yes. Like, there the, first, is. like uh, the fifth game? But okay. I don't. I, I think there is, but yeah, I'm sure that nine times out of ten, it's not the right choice. Right. So, whatever. Yeah, this. Let's let's ask why we suck. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sorry, yeah, Sakura, I... but me me and Clara, so we're gonna go back to our rooms while you do stuff with Kami uh... over there. I was just thinking, yeah, there's no salvaging this, and then you lose even more points. You know, I bet you these girls would have stayed had you selected the right option. That's the thing. We also need to work on teamwork between these gals. Your teamwork isn't really off the charts, if you know what I'm saying. Whatever, we don't need them. Not right now, anyway. Wait a minute, I just realized something. What? Well, you know, there was a, a new Sakura Wars show that came out in... Well, I think it came out this year. It's a sequel. The show is a sequel to the game? Yeah, I think, like, nearly every uh, game of Sakura Wars has some sort of animated accompaniment. Almost, anyway. I know there was a Soccer Wars TV show in the 90s. There was a okay. movie that came out of that. There was a Soccer Wars New York, New York, which was like a sort of pseudo-sequel to 5. And uh, this new Soccer Wars animation is a pseudo-follow-up to this game. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this game did come out in 2019 in Asia, and then the rest of the world this year, April 28th. Yes. But that new show, I would have laughed if it was just a shortened version of the game. Because that way we could just watch the show and we can skip this. Here we go, Bromide. Who do we got? Hey, it's the New oh! York Combat Review! There's my, there's my friends! Oh, my lovelies! I'll, c I'll come back to you guys later, I promise. I've not forgotten about you. <laughs> you guys you guys are great. You guys are my friends. Oh god, what, what happens when we finally do finish that game? And it may happen before we finish this one, who knows? We retcon the ending to this, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if you just posted the finale of this Soccer Wars with the finale of Soccer Wars 5 and said, there! Now we can get Ooh. Clarice Bromides. And we'll start just, uh, yeah, we'll get Sakura's first one. I'm glad they update. The Sakura flowers are gorgeous, aren't they? Get it? Sakura, because Sakura wore Sakura. Everything's gonna be Sakura, Sakura, Sakura! She's wearing a kimono that has a Sakura, like, flower on it. How much more can they hit you in the face with it? Yeah, I found another problem with this game and how they mu how much they fucking love Sakura. You look at the box art of every, of, uh, every other Sakura Wars, except, I think, three or four. They have the entire cast on them. And Sakura Wars New has only Sakura on it. Just Sakura. That's it. So. Ideas to pull in more patrons. I mean, nobody shows up to the theater. Nobody can buy stuff from the gift shop. So I'll figure something out. Have we considered lingerie? I mean, not for the girls, for the captain. That'll bring in some people. We gotta turn the theater into a cabaret. Ooh. Yeah, but this game is rated T, so we can't do that. Come on! So we're good on the comedies. People are starting to know us for our comedies, so... <laughs> maybe we could be a comedy club. That's, uh, a, that, that's an idea. Uh, that would be okay, except for the number of rolled ankles we would have at the end of one night. We'd have to save it for, like, weekly shows instead of, you know, nightly shows. Let's invent stand-up, and... Another one? Another uh, bromide. Holy shit, I 
It's Sajita Weinberg! Oh my god. It's my lawyer it, babe. Yeah, yeah, I want a class action lawsuit against this. Can you help me with that? <laughs> oh god, help me. Oh. Help, help me. Uh, who are you? Oh, that's a nice start. This is about ten tropes mashed into one character. Oh, yeah! What's up, Baka? Uh, I love Sakura. She's my favorite character. Settle down! Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm the new ticket collector. Because we can't talk about how we're the combat review, even though everybody knows about the combat review. I don't get that. Maybe it's kind of a Clark Kent situation. Well, how can you be in the combat review when you already have such a high-profile job like a like an actress at a big grand theater? I just met you. This is Itsuki Saijo. She is a fangirl. What the hell are those socks? Why does she have the Zet tie? Why is she dressed like a fucking sailor, uh, like a like a middle schooler? Why, why she got a Magic the Gathering card in her hair? <laughs> oh, the Gilded Lotus. What a rare card. Has she ever heard of a hairbrush? <laughs> she probably just wakes up to an alarm clock that just says Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. So, how can we be better? Is she your tutorial girl? She's... Basically, she's the one who's... She's our hype girl. Oh no, a cheerleader. She's gonna be the one who'll be uh, helping oh. the theater you know, get the seats filled. She's got the ideas, I guess. But no, we can't be real and say that they suck and they're terrible and they're embarrassing themselves. No, we can- Oh, they, they have potential! If we all work together, we can really achieve our dreams! Come on, guys, we can do it! Like, fuck out of here with that shit! Am I too cynical for this game? Is that it? Yes. Yes. Because the fact that you just said after one performance, Yep, we all suck and there's no improving it, might as well burn the theater down. I didn't say burn the theater, we just need- we need some serious help! We need more than just pretty flowers and butterfly kisses and a dream to get by. We need some real fucking results. I have a strange feeling your manager is listening to your every word. So as soon as she sees some like cynical speech, she's just like, I need to talk to you right now. Here's our last an bromide we can find off the floor of the chapter. Another one? It's Sumire again. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, this is the type of stuff that should be strewn out, like, the entire game. It's a long RPG, guys. There's a lot of bromides, don't worry. Well, I, I saw how long everything is, but we what do we have, like, six or seven right now? The, the game's barely started? That was, let's see, I think we got maybe... <clears throat> I think we got eight right now. Hmm. That's a lot. Yep. We, got, we have eight bromides right now, because we found six on the floor, and we bought two from the store. Do I regret my choice? Nope! I don't regret a thing. Because we're going to make it happen. Optimism! You guys want optimism, right? I don't regret a goddamn thing! What?! what no! <laughs> no! No! Who wrote this script? <laughs> That's the Wait, fucked did up you part. Lose points for that? Yes. The guy who wrote this <laughs> is the guy who wrote 428 Shibuya Scramble. What? Yes. Get the hell out of here. What is he doing? <laughs> that seemed like the best choice. What are you doing now? What oh the my fuck? God. Okay. I have a funny feeling that, you know, Sakura Wars 5 punishes me all the time because I'm making, like, the stupid decisions. And every now and again, I'll get one right and I actually feel good. I could probably beat this game with my weed brain. Let me let's play this. 
<laughs> it's tailor made for folks like you, not like me, who have. Folks like you. <laughs> How dare, sir! <laughs> hey, the tropes aren't made for me! No, they're not. They are made. Ooh, I, I don't like that this is a playing it safe Sakura Wars. We don't need that in our. They're, they're in made our year for people who. They're made for people who are unfettered by the needs of modern life and the, the choices. <laughs> oh my. Oh, here we are at the World Games again. <laughs> it's time for our Sakura Wars Olympics, starring Sakura from Sakura Wars. But why? Uh, Why do we need to like act during combat? Like, oh, you stabbed me, but for real this time, ah! Demons are attacking the world, and we're focused about our own fucking egos at the stupid faux Olympics bullshit. Is that really what's important here? Oh, well, choose wisely. I think we'll it might do punish our very, you. We'll do our very best. Well, you've been doing your best. It's terrible. Think harder. <laughs> what? Come on. Oh, you just want to do your best for the girls? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Why does everyone assume we're just a big dickhead? I feel like a neutral good kind of guy, you know. I, I do what's right, but I don't want to, like, you know, up to any law or what. Just, 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 just be chill. Just be cool. Be level-headed. It's like, oh, I'm captain. You girls need my help. I want to help them. But apparently, they don't like the fact I want to help them. Or they think I'm in it to get in their pants. At least Sumira here is is almost begging on on her knees, just like, please fix my stupid girls. Please make them good at acting and in fighting. Well, it's good that we're that we're not attracted to any of these girls, which means that we can impassively and dispa we can uh, dispassionately beat them into shape. Like literally beat them. I'm I'm. No. No, no, no. I'm going to nah, put rulers... We'll I'm going to put rulers to knuckles. I'm going to put sledgehammers to knees if we don't get the results we need. <laughs> the only way to become better at the Starlight Review is to put you in a saw-based trap. If you can get out of it, you can become an actual actress. So next time on Soccer Wars, we'll ask more about these stupid world games and hopefully get these girls into shape. See you next time.